The all-star circuit of champions appears to be back in business after a year hiatus. Well, sort of. We discuss it on today's edition of the Sprint Car Limited 90 at 9. An announcement came down Saturday that the All-Stars was being resurrected. First, the particulars. High Limit still owns the name slash series, and Rich Farmer is going to run it. The series will consist of roughly 20 races, with the bulk of them taking place in Ohio. It should include Ohio Speed Week, and of course the series will be broadcast on Flow Racing. Here's where it gets a little interesting. Aaron Fry, who runs fast and filled the Ohio void in 2024, stated in a Facebook post that High Limit approached him to merge under the All-Star banner and take over race directing duties. He declined and decided to stay with Fast. High Limit confirmed that Fry had no desire to merge or work with Farmer. I can't say this is good or bad, mainly because I don't have enough information. I haven't seen a schedule, although I do know calls were made to a couple of central PA tracks. I'm also unsure how this fits in with Fast, a series that reportedly already has 20 races scheduled for next season. But I do have some concerns. First, I know the All-Stars and Fast coexisted for six seasons. The difference now is that Fast has more races scheduled and the Attica Fremont Championship Series is also in play so I don't know if a third series is going to work. I can't help thinking this will lead to more races, and I'm not sure the ecosystem in the Buckeye State can handle it. From the All-Star side, the top drivers and teams are gone. There is no Tyler Courtney, Justin Pett, Corey Eliason, Aaron Reitzel, Book Motorsports, Rudine Racing. The list goes on. With two national series in play, It could mean less star power to draw fans depending on scheduling and how it fits in with High Limit and the Outlaws. Plus, there are some huge personality conflicts in the Ohio region. In other words, there's a lot of birds picking at this sprint car bone. My hope is that all of these mouths have room at the table and that they can make it work through scheduling, fans, cars, and finances. Otherwise, this could do more harm than good. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned.